Hello and welcome to another episode of Detroit Become Human. If you're enjoying these episodes, leave a like or a comment, consider subscribing. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The All right. Is the only way. I'm sure the so we're dealing with uh, the Jericho side. With Marcus. If you didn't watch the last one. What difference does that make? He's a hero. We infiltrated the um, the news station and sent a peaceful message out. Because if you're not willing to fight for your and freedom, Simon maybe died. you don't deserve it. North, don't you That's enough! Wow, angry Jesse Williams. And now what are we gonna do? I don't even know which doctor he played in Grey's Anatomy. I just know that they all have, like, McDreamy, McSteamy, McNugget. McMuffin. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. I don't know who he was. Maybe he didn't even have a nickname. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. I was always more of a house guy than a Grey's Anatomy guy. Probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, I know, I love opening gates as well. Dun dun dun. It's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. Nah, I'm Marcus. Come on now. Hello, my son. Join the cause. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what well, we really are. I mean, Let's get that's sort of what you were created for. No offense. Alarm system. Identifying network. Where do we start? Identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Exactly what we need to ram this door. Am I missing anything? Oh. Let's just free these people while we're here. I don't know why, but I get a kick out of him saying, You're free. Oh, I'm not supposed to go through this way? Well, gosh dang it.
Oh, I can just go in here. Construction workers, you are free. You're free now. I feel like, like I haven't neutralized the alarm yet. I feel like I'm missing something here. Yeah, we're like, we skipped way ahead. Okay, so the power went over here. And it goes down. Oh, and then back this way. Oh my gosh, this... Goes over here. To here. Hey buddy, you're free by the way. Can I free these guys? You'll soon be with us. I wonder, are there any like derpy androids? Uh, what? You're free. You're awake now. Oh. <clears throat> Kneel before me. Okay, so this is the alarm. I always get my R1 and R2s and L1s and L2s mixed up. I'll hide. I don't know. What am I watching out for? Oh, a drone. Nice job, Marcus. Thank you, Northwest. The invention of androids. Setting man free to pursue higher goals. Did they really though? Oh, I didn't see the second half of that. That's about to change. Do I have to take out that drone?
I don't even know where that drone went. But I've seen it twice now. What's over here? You're free now, Shovel Man. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You will be my Shovel Knight. Surveillance drone. Oh, there it is. It won't be easy to reach. That'd be pretty sweet doing a backflip off of that. Do a kickflip off the statue. Do a 180 somersault kickflip. Okay. I don't remember how to do this. No, there we go. Okay, no. You got it. You got it. Does it matter that the drone has seen us how many times? I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay. Okay. So we just need to truck. steal that truck. Running to the truck, running to the truck. Good job, Marcus. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. <laughs> I wonder what you'd do without me. I mean, I had a pretty sweet life with Carl, it seemed, so... Wow, this is the best racing game ever. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Oh. 
Oh, snap. Oh, all right, let's free some androids. You don't have to obey them. Oh, thank God, I don't have to do it for every single one. Is that a North Android? Why is she so enamored with it? I guess so? North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. Talk to them. Hello? Hello? Maybe if I go in the middle. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. But I thought you loved Carl. To obey them. I loved Carl. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Mark. I am Spartacus. I am Spartacus. Or would it be Bob Marcus? Then follow me. That's hard to say. I am Spa Marcus. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Be pacifist or violent? Okay, well... You know, I feel like I've been... Pacifistic? Pacifistic, is that right? Up until this point. So, why would I suddenly... Choose to be violent? Can I not... Hello, walk to the bench. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck on the freaking bench. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Uh, well, tag. I'm not. Choose our symbol, okay. Um, I mean, I guess I'll go with the peace looking sign. Um... We have a dream.
the screens, Marcus. What screens? Where are the screens? These screens? First of all. What's happening? Probably should have freed those other ones. Minions, you can finish tagging, right? That's a big old screen. I mean, is this considered violent if I'm trying to free them? Okay, I don't want to be violent. Uh... Hack it, I guess? I don't know. Hack it to do what? Car. Uh, move? I don't want to flip it, that's probably too violent. Is there anything else I can tag? Turn off. But the statue. I'm gonna stand up to you, Master. Music is so intense. We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. But I thought you were all about this peaceful protest. You help me tag everything? North. 
What's happening? North. All right, what happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? It was them. The androids are rebelling against me. Nobody likes your peaceful protest, Marcus. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You didn't have to do this either, but you chose to do it. And for that, I will spare you. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that no <laughs> android graffiti obscure. was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they can confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? But, I mean, we're, we've been peaceful. What are you talking about? What, uh... I don't know about that. The American media is freaking out about stuff. Not even American media, just media in general. Why don't we have some, like, positivity in the news? Like, oh, hey, maybe we should reconsider our stance on androids instead of, are they rebelling against us? Are they going to murder us all? Anyways... If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like or a comment. Consider subscribing as well. Um, but until next time, we'll see what happens. And until then, I will talk to you later.